Like I mentioned in the previous video, I'm going to show you my extreme Aatrox run, and before I get to it, or to him, I will talk about my build overall, and for sure I have to mention my decision which ultimately helped me defeat Aatrox, because without picking this perk there is no chance of beating him. And this perk is a perk which gives you 20% additional HP every second, but you lose 50% of your HP. That's a bad trade overall. For example, on other characters like Jinx, you wouldn't want to pick something like that. Or at least not without a max HP perk or a passive, right? Which is going to enlarge your HP pool. And that's what I also have on this character because I have the Static Shiv um, weapon, which is pretty strong, I would say. Then, as you can see, I do not have my Orbital Strike upgraded to the max. I'm trying to upgrade it. You will see in the Aatrox run, I will try to run around and pick up experience as much as possible, but then I will not be able to upgrade it in the end. That's a bit of a spoiler, but that's fine. Then, of course, you also see the pistol. That pistol, I'm not gonna say the name. You can already tell the fifth item in the stack. That one is extremely strong, especially if you get it early. Early into the game is really strong for Riven, and that's because you can lose a lot of HP pretty fast if you make mistakes in the beginning, right? That's why sometimes I pick um, HP per second, right? To enlarge my HP per second, which is regenerative HP, right? But Let's talk about the fight itself. I didn't say much about the first phase because it's extremely easy, especially on Riven. I'm not sure about other characters. I haven't tried to play other characters on Extreme Aatrox. No, yeah, I, I haven't tried any other characters. Probably I did with Jinx and then I died before even fighting Aatrox. But the first phase is pretty straightforward. She doesn't have that many abilities which she can use on you. The base ones and the sword slam and that's about it. You can see me picking the card in the end because I wanted to try and level the orbital strike to 5 but I didn't get it. I got ability haste which is alright I would say because it helps my well abilities to load faster. And well I left the card up until now because then it spawns, uh, the map spawns a death wave from the ocean and you need to move on to the second phase closer to the center of the map. Now, in this second phase, he has some abilities which is which are going to drain your shield. That's why having that perk, which um, gives you 20% HP per second, is really strong. You can see the swords are actually dealing some damage, some massive, some massive damage. And of course, the sword slams are pretty strong this time as well. Now, all I have to do in this instance is to dodge his abilities as much, as much as possible, he will catch me in one of his pillars soon enough and then just dodge as much as possible because of his uh, swords and uh, sword slam, right? The flying swords, of course. Like I said, the pillar. The pillar is pretty weak, as, as weak as the first one. Maybe more orbital strikes are uh, being targeted at me, but other than that, it's not... Uh, it's not a problem. That's not a problem uh, in this fight. But, like I said, having that HP perk, and I keep repeating it because that's the most important aspect of this run, the perk. Without it, there is no run. There is no chance because, well, if you are someone who is able to dodge of all of these abilities, then for sure you are able to defeat him easily. Or if you have your anima power all maxed out. I believe I had it to 50. Maybe I'm a bad player if uh, I had it to 50 and I struggled defeating Aatrox, but like I said, uh, if you are able to dodge all of his abilities, then you do not need that perk. I had to get it and as you can see I managed to defeat him, then a pillar spawns again and that's about it. In the end, all I have left to say is like, comment, subscribe.